Hello, everybody. Hope you all are having a great day. Texas just beat Kansas State. It was a close game on the road against a good team, so you love to see that. This is going to be the every play video. This is going to be a condensed version of the game, so it's going to have every play, removed all the filler. As always, hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you thought about the game. Bijan Robinson, his every play video will be dropping here shortly. All right, everybody. Look. Purple won the toss and have deferred Big 12 second place on the line. Here we go from Manhattan, Kansas, and the Longhorns will feel, but it starts with the run first. Bijan Robinson is the tailback. It's play action for Ewers, and he launches down the field on the opening play, and it's incomplete. The cuff home run hitter. It's Whittington in motion, and the first carry for B. John Robinson, and he is stood up by Kobe Savage. The country is a tandem. Wow, that's high praise. In this building, they played that way. Third down and nine for Ewers, spinning the ball, readying to throw. Down the middle, and he's got it right at the line to gain four. five. Five stars on this Texas roster, and that's one of those elite corners. That's Echo Boydo, but you see the difference in size. It's six foot, one seven pound conversion, third and long, an area the Longhorns have not been good at. Third and long has been a disaster at points this year. This down the middle is incomplete for Whittington, and a flag comes in. Personal foul, targeting, defense number 23. And you're going to see Brents right here. That is a defenseless player. Does not have to be the crown of the helmet when it's a defenseless player. Has to be forcible contact to the head or neck area with an aggressive lead into it. Young man, you have to change your strike zone when you hit. Massive loss for Kansas State. Jacob Parrish going to play more. This is Keelan Robinson on the drop off from Ewers. It's a gain of nine. And Second down and one run. And there's one of those jump cuts from Bijan Robinson. Six foot and 222 pounds. One of the best receiving tailbacks as well in Texas history. We'll see that tonight too. Ewers under pressure and he has to spit it out over the sideline. Times this season. He feels this rush. He's got a pretty good pocket presence and he has learned to get rid of the ball to avoid negative plays right there shows up just as an incompletion. It's Robinson stepping through a tackle. Bijan Robinson on the gas pedal and in. They see what's coming behind the picture. Bijan Robinson knows that the front is blocked on the counter play and he's got his eyes on one guy. Number one, Josh Hayes, who's the unblocked safety coming down, and once he hurdles him. That guy is going to have a long career. Yeah. 63rd game, you can't duck and miss. 11th straight game with some kind of touchdown for Bijan Robinson as Malik Knowles in this good special teams unit gets a burst that was needed to the throw tonight. Throws on first down. It's a little bit high, but he does have the tight end to point them out for us. Second down and two, and Vaughn to the other hip of Martinez, and the first carry for Deuce Vaughn, who just squeezes through for the first down for Corner. We're in number five. It's a first down run, a little delay for Vaughn, and he gets smashed down here for Kansas State, including Sinnott and Wheeler. Hopscotch for Deuce Vaughn, and here. The cavalry. A weekend getaway against Oklahoma State last week. That 60 plus yard touchdown run. And here he goes again, crashing through the hole. It's the first run for Adrian Martinez. And he wants Martinez has the freedom to change the play. Phillip Brooks in motion. Martinez goes over the middle. Patience with patience. And you're going to see Deuce come out here. And Jalen's trying, but there is that one little move, that one little juke. 
Bow like they'd been in the game together for weeks. This offense is humming in ways. Bidian reside right here in the Big 12. This looked like he was going to jump out of that graphic into the end zone again. And Texas will. That's exactly what we've been talking about all week in Manhattan. Ewers down the middle, incomplete. He wanted Whittington. Around the on the scrimmage, Quinn makes the right decision. He just misses it. Play action to nobody. He wants another long ball down the field and nearly picked off. I mean, they love to take shots down the field. Worthy as far as the target goes. Oh, 25 in the neutral zone of the snap. Five yard penalty. Second down. Oh, that's a critical penalty, by the way. Third and what would have been 10. Instead, now second and five as that ball falls. Talk about yards per completion. It's a tall number for Ewers. Rolling and throwing the other way. It's Robinson. That is beautiful design, and B. John Robinson wanders across the 50. Mason, you're going to come here, and you're going to get lost amidst the chaos, and you can see the backs turn and run. An awesome little wrinkle, and you'll see a bunch of them off the bye week. Robinson hit and drive. Do I'm going to give. Some of that is two backs with Robinson and Roshan Johnson in there together. And this is Bijan Robinson who got stuck by Sincere. Run and a six yard run is look at the, first of all, a little more constriction there around the line of scrimmage, but it's going to take two. One wild. From the tailback position, Bijan Robinson. And he just ducks his head and tries to tunnel and drive forward to pick up that first down for Texas. Ewers, this side, nicely planted there at the 20-yard line for Sanders, the tight. Oh, this is trust. There's three Wildcats right there. Kind of like the first third and nine conversion. When you grow to trust a 6'4", 250-pound weapon, good results follow on safeties. Trying to track down David Thomas for the school record for tight end catches. That's a little flip to Robinson, and Keelan Robinson does have the first down. He's shut out, a historic shutout. And you know what Oklahoma State could not do? They could not do what Texas is doing in these two series. What's that? They could not make this defense uncomfortable. Yeah, there's a bit of a contact here at the end of this run. But K-State is on their heels in a way they never were last Saturday. Roshan Johnson skipping to the goal line for another Texas touchdown. They run behind this left side. An excellent job by guard, tackle, center, major, seals it. A block by the second tight end, Billingsley coming across. It's week that is attacking this defense in every phase. It's not like the tape really helps from left half. They had quarterback issues, so it was Johnson taking the direct snap. Here he gets it handed off, and the Longhorns are in again with four. Five straight in this series, and Kansas State will get it back after the touchdown from Roshan Johnson, and Malik Knowles is driven back. Man, is that good coverage from Texas and Keaton Crawford. I couldn't, and Coach Kleinman's trusting him. And trust Deuce Vaughn to gain a nine. Been through burning a red shirt once before, played in 2020 before he was ready, and Deuce Vaughn collapses down, overshowed. Adrian said, I think I spend more time with Will than I do my girlfriend. That might be a problem. Third down and two. And Martinez to throw. Pressure coming, has to get it out, and he does for the first down for Kansas State. And for the weeks, and especially last week, is this group in front of them. That shield of those five big guys, even with a corner blitz that comes late, just that pocket comfort. Will Howard had it a, a week ago, and in that kind of speed, would Adrian be affected so far so good? And nothing jumpy about sitting in the pocket there. Off play action, now he fades back and steps up, and this is what Adrian Martinez can do as he slides. The crowd wants a flag, it was a leap. And then Nicholas spot. Second down and two, empty for Martinez. Quick hit to the outside, and that's Warner. Whether you call it the camera club, 
Heard some D coordinators say that. Can you get on camera? At the end of that clip, how many guys are swarming to the football? On the replay as it's third and four. Martinez waiting and throwing. It's Vaughn out of the backfield again. First down. This guy. Right? You know where, where the outlet's going to be. As you can see, the defender's there, but it's a better job in that route distribution of creating space. And then Deuce has such a feel. May not be the biggest target for a quarterback, but he is so friendly in the yard lines on third down to make sure that he was in the right spot. Martinez off play action to the sideline, and nobody home for Knowles. Second on Monday. Martinez, that plus one he provides to this offense gets him nine. And here for Sorrell, if it's Will Howard, you take that, that approach. If it is Adrian Martinez, I think he's still trying to figure out <laughs> where the football is. Because Giddens, the tailback, and it's him, the freshman. He's got the first down for camp two. That man in the box, and he's calling it from what he's seeing up there. This is the tight end set up with a hurdle. He's got to get at least the bronze. <laughs> I don't know how these young men do this in this day and age. Let's fly through the air. Looks so easy. The launch did. Martinez incomplete. Brooks with. There's the check with me. Yeah, it's Vaughn. Little hesitation. Deuce Vaughn with the resounding Deuce behind him. Having an afternoon in Evanston. Deuce Vaughn the side tackle. Shimmy. These hands outside the frame of K State players. Martinez to throw. Low ball and incomplete. Nice coverage by Jamison, and it's the other side, right? The big tight end using his frame to cut off an undersized DB, but that's what you have to do. And Deshaun Jamison making his 40th start. If you're giving your senior in that secondary for Texas, Martinez on the hunt. Adrian Martinez is drilled at the five yard line, and that's a punter, and now handles everything kicking wise, and this field goal is on through. Think about how cool it is that two guys that don't exactly fit, right? Don't exactly have the body come to the same place and have the same result. He's on Robinson today. Unstoppable at this point. Yeah, he's got the body and he can catch it as well as any running back in America. Try not to use too much hyperbole, but this guy's just he's just different. He's he's special. He's he's got little guy moves with a big body frame. I mean, he carries 220 plus pounds. You're not supposed to be able to be that agile, that explosive on top of the power he possesses as well. This is Robinson, and we spent some time with this. It's never been a part of his game whatsoever. He's also one of two running backs in all of college football that averages four yards after contact, and we're seeing that tonight. They've dragged him all over the formation here, left and then to the top of the screen. And Ewers goes down the middle, and again, the tight end, Jatavion Sanders, his third grab. You'll see the in cut here, zone coverage. How do you beat zone coverage? You throw your receivers into those windows. And it is so nice as a QB to have a 6 4 guy that can go up and pluck that can. Makes it look so easy sometimes. Winning. When Quinn's on, that ball and that rotation is special. This goes to Savion Red, just his second grab. It's a highly confident Texas team right now. I'm just giving it right to Robinson, who did a little tightrope on the sideline. Play action for years. He wants to launch. He does, and too much. Worthy. The time sail north. It's a run for Robinson. He's dancing all over the place. It is third down coming up. Third and six. 
Rocket holds up. Ewers, end zone. He does have Worthy. Maybe you're Worthy. This is so good. <laughs> so you run the double post earlier, right? That inside move, they just miss it. See ya. Knuckle Boy Doe is elite. He's, he's been a starter for many years. He runs in especially number eight. Extra quarterbacks is timing and anticipation. This is the touchdown pass, the post corner. Look when Quinn Ewers throws this. Worthy gives him that post in the corner. He's already thrown it. The ball is out of his hand. Look at him lead his receiver open, and that is all anticipation. When, when can you feel his development? Anticipation like that. Helps when his receiver makes it sharp. But it's belief. It's believing you can get it done. That is the only way. And then going out and finally doing it. This one just got ambushed and smothered and finally stopped. But he takes it. <laughs> yeah, that's your 90s, 90s reference for you. Got it in early. Adrian Martinez feels the pressure and gets dropped. And for one of the first times tonight, this line, this shield, you felt the pressure just squeeze it, right? Constricted a little bit. Adrian has nowhere to go with the ball. Cover down to the Longhorns that time. And Adrian takes a sack here, and now a third and extra, extra long. And third down. They're 96th in the nation. 42% conversion against, but this is going to be a long way to go for Deuce Vaughn, who got caught midair. And they're going to have an empty piggy bank. They keep running out of nickels. Hunt fair caught and worthy. This man, a whole lot more top gun, just competitive assassin. Viewers lets it rip down the left side a little bit too much for worthy. So there, I did. Robinson tracks his way across midfield. Into the line of scrimmage, a QB sneak. Oh, and they're not going to get it. Kansas State plunges forward and gets the stop. Austin. Fourth down run right up the middle. Roshan Johnson has it spiked out of his hand. Oh, what a play down the sideline. Watch Boy Doe hunt his prey. Boom! That is worked on every day. Martinez wants a shot. Down the middle, too much for Warner. Adrian pushed the ball nearly down the field as much as Will Howard and certainly his counterpart tonight. Cade Warner does a nice job right there at the top of his route. And he's got some separation on a very speedy Jameson to let Cade go get it. Martinez to run this time. And he goes down. This is quite the night for him. Martinez loads up, fires, got a wide open Malik Knowles. In space, Knowles stepped through tap. Down the sideline, Knowles by a shirt, stays in bounds. This was a phenomenal catch. You're gonna see Deuce Vaughn right there in the middle of the scene create just a little bit of chaos. That's not easy running full speed. And then he is elite in the open field. Deuce Vaughn driven down, gain on him. Second and nine. Oh, the shake, the change of direction. And he gets it. Pressure coming right up the middle. Martinez delivers for Knowles, and now Chris Kleiman has a decision to make. There's the look to the sideline, and exactly as you said, you don't like it, you call timeout. Too big a play. Fourth and two. Giddens the tailback. Warner in motion. Martinez giving ground on fourth down for the end zone and Brooks incomplete. Jaday Barron back in the game on the coverage. As well, you can see Brooks has a step. The locals are watching the replay. Did that early contact impede the receiver? I don't think so. This 
with Kansas State seeing the ball out of halftime has a pivotal drive here. This is a completion on first down. Hey, yep, I got to tip my hat. John Robinson into the car wash there. And Short toss, and that is easy money for Texas. And then some. Robinson cuts inside. And he's inside the 10. Cuts it up fast. Yeah, and this is just numbers. And this is a true freshman. So it's not just throwing at true freshmen, right? It's blocking them. They get their hands on Anudike Uzama as well. And then the Lamborghini is out. That is Billingsley. And they have knocked the Lamborghini, didn't park in the garage for six. Lamborghini had a little bit of traffic. Incomplete. He won. Kevin Robinson running parallel, and he tripped. It's a worthy in the slot. Sanders to the top. Pressure coming. They showed it early. That's a big hit, and a fluttering ball is incomplete. Yeah, he's coming right off the edge here, and it's a good thing he is screaming. Some miscommunication there. Christian Jones in the right guard, the true freshman Hudson. Don't sort that out. When guys get in the gaps, you got to make sure you communicate that protection. You think about that hit he took in the Alabama game. That knocked him out from Dallas Turner of the Crimson Tide. Field. Changes games, changes narratives. You heard about the struggles on the road pregame from the guys in the studio. Texas has played very well so far. Malik Knowles had a crease for a moment and that closed very quickly. Is to have them work like they're two and three stars in their development like they've done here in Manhattan. Kansas State with a minute and a half to get the ball out of halftime. And Kate Warner climbs the ladder. Situations, critical, critical time here. Martinez scanning and throwing. It is intercepted by the Longhorns in wide open space. Jalen Ford. Well, this is that in cut they got earlier. Right wide open on that in cut on the big play. This time, great depth. You see Ford's eyes looking back, and he doesn't take the cheese underneath him, as Pete Kwiatkowski has said too many times. We have not dropped into our zones. Adrian shakes his head, just didn't see the picture like he wanted to. And it's Bijan Robinson on the first down carry. Possession. And the world's your oyster play call wise, too. Yep, this point. Red got a block on the outside and turns it upfield. And out of bounds in the it's this season, Jason, when these big plays emerge on the perimeter, it's not just taking one, it's taking two. He does the dirty work. He's a five star that is a lunch pail kid. Jersey there. They haven't called it all night. Exactly. Bijan Robinson skates again just outside, and he's got nine more since half. Ewers sinks into the play action. He's got the tight end Sanders who does get up field enough for the first down of the clock. All night. Bijan Robinson hit by Mott. No gain. Second and goal. Play action again. Ewers for Whittington. Incomplete. Boydo got his hands up. Ewers end zone. And the toe tap. Yeah, you can see Boy Doe here. He turns Worthy over to T.J. Smith right there. He's pointing to him, but T.J. Smith never finds number eight. And again, you want to know who and how to defend. You take advantage. But he gets to figure out where the stress needs to go on his defense. Not tonight. Nope. And look at that spiral again. I'm telling you, flexibility. Right? As some of these elite pitchers do, as Pedro did, as Felix Hernandez, those guys that just, and he gets so much snap. What kind of talent resides in those all whites? There would be a pocket of teams with two losses. In yeah, you don't get to pick, but sometimes it falls there for you. 
And now Deuce Vaughn gets the kick win tonight. TCU a winner earlier. Gus and Joel were there in Fort Worth. Two losses would then be the bar for second place if Texas wins tonight. And again, coverage from Overshone and Ford. And the starters on defense. Everything was built off of that. Get number 22 going. Here he is, Deuce Vaughn. First carry right up the alley. And he gets hog tied. Well, if you're going to call it consistently like that. First down, Martinez. Fading back. Now he zigzags away. He got hit and lost the football. There's a marker down. And Deuce Vaughn. Side, defense number 98 lined up in the neutral zone. Five yard penalty, first down. Tonight, the part of the decision is the possible red shirt. This is tipped and incomplete. That's Blackwell who got in there with his hand. Like Adrian, you've got to find a way, somehow, some way to get this ball over the top. Because you can see Sinnott. I mean, he's got Ford, the middle linebacker, by Both tight ends in motion. Wheeler and Sinnott. A card on the sideline just went up that said 22 on it. That couldn't have been the call. It's a little bit too conspicuous. Ford, more than where he is standing there typically. Martinez on the run. Adrian Martinez is short. Been a part of it. Big part of it. Worthy back to receive the Zentner punt. And he's going to let that thing bounce, and it checks up and goes out of bounds at the four. Small town environments, man. They love their Wildcats. Nobody claps like our director, Darren Foster. Bijan Robinson breaking tackles again. And nobody breaks tackles like Bijan. The strike zone is on Bijan Robinson. There really isn't one. No, it's three guys. To be a false start. His feet, you have to have your head up and you've got to keep driving your feet, hoping for the Calvary to come. Wow, hopscotch again to avoid a body in the backfield. Different. Second down run, here he is again. B. John Robinson with a stiff arm. Love this statement coming out. You get a three and out defensively, you talk about it, a little bit of a high handoff, he handles it, and he gets to that corner, and there's another tool in the tool bag, a stiff arm. I don't know that they got it off. We're gonna... Yours climbs the pocket, stays behind the line of scrimmage, fires, it's not free, sprung free by Hayes, and let's see who comes up with a football. Xavier Worthy had possession. Eli Huggins is at the bottom of that pile. Austin Morris says it's Kansas State football. And you hear the reaction of the crowd. Catch one, two, tuck away, football move, clearly a fumble, no question about it. And Josh Hayes says, thank God I finally don't have to tackle Bijan. Out. Call him the Grizzly Bear, and you're going to fight him for that food at the bottom of the pile. So Kansas State and Deuce Vaughn right to him. Deuce Vaughn streaking inside the five with a flag in. It's either first and goal or a frustrating penalty for Kansas Too happy. There are two fouls on the offense. Holding number 55. That 10-yard penalty will be enforced from the previous spot. After the play, we have a dead ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense number 55. That 15-yard penalty will also be enforced to see Gillum he comes out right here hands outside the frame I mean <laughs> that's a bear hug that's a hold they've not called it at times tonight but those two then climbing uphill Martinez down the middle Deuce Vaughn changing direction on a dime inside the third a little bit more heated Again, how do you cover this guy? <laughs> that is a jump cut, a dead leg on a route. 
after the play, dead ball, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 28. That penalty will be enforced half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. First down. Jaron Thompson, the junior in the secondary, on the couches in Austin and parts surrounding. The freshman Giddens on the run. And he snakes down to the Boston Continental. Martinez dives forward, first and goal, Kansas State. Damage, again, watch this, just tossing people. Toss one, got to take on another block, and that time Christian Moore does what you have to do against any man bigger than you. And it helped that Sweat was stumbling a little bit, but he runs three scores. Martinez follows Moore again. And Martinez is in touchdown. This will be number 10 of the season. It's all about does the tip of the ball in his right hand break the plane of the goal line? Not down, not down. Ooh, that is awfully close. You can see the headlines. End zone. This is just the point having to get in. And this is directly down the line. What a great shot by our crew. No body parts down, no body parts down. The elbow is down right there. Here's the plane. Can you judge that that ball is across the plane? The headlinesman's looking right at it. But that, but because the call on the field was touchdown. Yep. You have to say, can we tell you that the ball was not in the end zone? Yep. From the looks we have, I know Dean Blandino is with us and watching in the studio as well. And when we get a chance, we'll check in with Dean. Dean, call on the field was a touchdown. What do you think here? Yeah, this is really close, and this is one of those plays where I'm 98% sure that the ball is short. Can I get to 100%? And we just can't see the entire football. We've got to look right down the line. Like you said, the officials ruled it a score. Do we have clear and obvious evidence that it isn't? And it's that nose of the football that we can't see. It's kind of leaning forward. Is it just breaking the plane? Of course he's going to say that, even to his teammates. That was a gigantic takeaway. Yes. A gigantic sudden change. On the big card, everybody signed it, and then they, they beat him. Mm. And so this series has been Texas's for a while now. And Bill Snyder, who's so renowned for his handwritten notes, got an entire card. Tom Herman said if it's his birthday, I'm getting him his, a card. <laughs> handwritten, hand-signed, everything that went along with it, because it's very fitting for a guy who went through what like four pens a week back in the day writing handwritten notes you know it's amazing even when he's eating snacks he still is regal he is there is just a presence to him it permeates in this building that man right there respects the heck out of him just climbing knows that stopping the run and creating another takeaway will lighten this stadium light the stadium up even more Dijon Robinson picking his way through Kansas State just quite in line for a possible Big 12 championship berth under Chris Kleiman and Huggins. When Ewers on third and four. Ewers the throw, and he's got the first down. Nicely planted on Whittington's hand. All the way across the field to the one spot right there. We're linked to his defense. The freshman in for Julius Brent, who's out after a targeting call in the first. Roshan Johnson gets bracketed and marked down. Sean Johnson finds no space and he's slid down by Sims. What you got to do, you've got to pull the trigger right out of center field. Sees it the entire way, works through the wash. He's the unblocked defender. And there's. Ewers gets it away. It's worthy on the cross into Kansas State territory and then some with a dance move. Pat Out the protection. Look at this. It looks like a punt block from K-State. And the big guys up front, they scat, re release, everybody is out. They run the crossers. And once again, back to Bellies. Mike Gundy said to us that won Oklahoma State the game in Stillwater a couple of weeks ago. Ewers, middle of the field, too much for Worthy. Field. So it's Bijan Robinson out of the breaks, and then Huggins meets him. 15. Got to cover Worthy. He's down to the trips at the bottom. 
Ewers drops it off, and that goes pinballing around it. First time we've seen Daniel Trejo, and he does get it off for the first Texas punt. And that goes bounding onto the paint. At Ten broken tackles tonight. Bijan over 12. That's Vaughn out of the backfield. Martinez knew he was there, and Overshown come. Vaughn is knocked down, just ripped down. Flying to the football right here. Deuce want a face mask. He beats and runs right through the block to the hands. Ooh, it looked like a possible face mask. Well, that's a face man. Third and three becomes third and 13. Martinez gets away from Sorrell. Roaming, firing, incomplete. A butt on that offensive line. When you get linebackers up in those gaps, you have to get what's called a hard call. You've got to protect from the inside out, Jason. And you can see the eyes there. Out. Sorrell makes Martinez flush. Big three and out. Those are rolling, rolling, rolling inside the 30 yard line and some side spin, a push of Jenny football. Long career in the NFL. Viewers, makes it look so easy. That one's incomplete, though. He gets a loose have got to stop. Second and 15, yours for Robinson. Bishan Robinson. Oh, in space, he is such trouble. That's of which came at Kansas State. This is a run, and it's not going anywhere for Robinson. Nine Wildcats finally stopped it. This is still, you'd have to imagine, too close for comfort for Texas fans, though, as this goes bouncing around. Brooks decides to pick it up, and Phillip Brooks ushered out of bounds. Andrew Martinez giving ground and throw. And a great State team getting a little bit healthier, including Martinez. Didn't have time to unload it deep. Now he slings for Knowles. And he lost the football. It's down on the deck, and it looks like it might have been Senate. Oh, a terrific job. You do that drill every day in QB fundamentals to duck under Tucker Dor Dorsey, throw a dart to Knowles, and what a tackle from Ford. But the Effort of oh. Senate in the tip by Knowles to knock it back. That is exactly it, Brock. He got a piece of that because he knew he couldn't get the entire ball. Fans wide. And veterans do. They didn't panic in that moment. Knows his buddy's coming and flips it to him amazingly. We know why we're doing everything we do. Martinez lets it rip. Down the middle, Warner. Touchdown, Kansas State. Our guy has become one of their real blue leaders. A perfect sell into zone coverage. A struggle for Texas throughout this season. Double route, and we got a one score game. Texas was up 21 at the half. Chris Kleiman's getting paid off for it. Texas. Okay, Texas. Respond. From the 25, the Longhorns will have to receive help from the sideline. Kansas State's defense. Huggins got in there, got a hand in, but Robinson Creek. Second down, Robinson carrying tacklers. Third down. Bijan Robinson does have the first down for the Texas Longhorns and a huge one at that. Stop him right away. And you let him get going, he will carry you past those markers. Look at that. I mean, that's Daniel Green. That, that's 245 pounds right on his back. That's with someone taking his legs out, mod underneath. In on a career night for a man who has had so many of them already. Roshan Johnson, this carry, and a stiff arm for Savage, and a huge hit on the sideline, and a flag comes in against Daniel Green. Backs, but you just have to let go when you're in the out-of-bounds. Dean Blandino in the studio agrees with you, Brock. Roshan Johnson, a mini hurdle, and a marker comes in as well in the middle of the wash there. This play's still not over yet. I wonder if this is going to be defensive holding. 
holding defense number 92. That 10 yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. First down. Ty Huggins. Back to the ground. B. John Robinson put the gear shift into reverse. I understand it because both D linemen had their hands on the O line. Quinn Ewers got the tight end Sanders. And he roves across the 15 yard line with those guys are pouring out their souls right now. Bijan Robinson got turned around. A harsh spin. Tough snap to handle. And that ends up in a break dancing effort from Roshan Johnson. Early stacked again to the top side. That back end has to communicate. It's Whittington in motion the other direction. Yours gets hit as he releases and can't drop it in for B. John Robinson. Thing Khalid Duke gets home right here because we call that a rail route, not a wheel route. Wheel routes take too long. And if Duke does not have a free run, and, and this is through. Kansas State has committed many more than they average this season. Adrian Martinez had a heck of a previous. And so is Mr. Martinez after that interception. Cade Warner was the guy who, after the shutout last week, said, Guys, we got a lot of work to do. And that's true here still. Martinez somehow stays alive. My goodness. Down the field he goes. And he's got Phillip Brooks. I mean, this is confidence. This is a guy that has not played in a month. Remember that. Other than one series. And he just runs right through Byron Murphy. Who doesn't wrap up? Murphy doesn't First wrap up. Tucker Dorsey doesn't wrap up. Times against Oklahoma State. We came up with it once. There, Martinez hangs on to the football. This is a line drive incomplete for Knowles. And a marker comes in. Much the end here. It gets tossed down near the end of it. Deuce Vaughn gets stonewalled. Man, Jalen Ford. Zone that they've been gashed in lately. Vaughn picked up, overshone. The throw gets to Brooks eventually. First in the face of Adrian Martinez. Look at Deuce Vaughn stick his head in the overshone. Martinez throws a punt. And Brooks, good thing he's a returner. First down, Martinez. Scanning and lobbing for Vaughn and a little bit short. Ford had the coverage. Reception on Adrian Martinez today for Ford. Martinez keeps it. Takes some contact and skids out of bounds. Whether it's Adrian, they'll run through those arm tackles. He looked off Giddens, went to the crosser, Warner. And he steps through. It's a game. They're going to have to have even more of it. Down 10. Garcia in motion. Martinez steps up. And Martinez shakes another guy. Garcia the block on the edge and a first down. Penalties. On both sides. Brentwood. All night. Deuce Vaughn gets caught up in the pile. It's a short gain of a. Didn't like door number one. And door number two wasn't appetizing either, but a flag has come in on the tackle. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 88. Half the distance to the goal. I'm running first down. It's Ward for the face mask penalty. From just outside the 10, it's Vaughn whirling for a couple of yards. It's for Kansas State. About five minutes to go. Adrian Martinez staggering and dropped. It's a loss it's to teammates. Third and nine. Do some motion. Martinez looks that way. Martinez has to roll. He's got to throw blindly again, and it's incomplete. And now Kansas State, you would have manner from 28. And this is true. The week every once in a while. <laughs> this year's great college football here on Fox. And Kansas State, seven points down. Texas has the ball and Bijan Robinson. Four and a half to go. 
Huge moment in the Big 12. Bijan Robinson, oh, you just cannot collect him with waiting arms. No. At full speed. Look at all these guys at the line. On second and six. And Robinson gets a couple. It'll be third down and three. But have to touch it. Movement from Moore at the linebacker spot. They creep up. It's a short toss, and it's absolutely detonated by Kobe Sack. First down, he takes a shot, right? He's a sitting target, not this time. And look at his feet. They never, ever, ever stop. Tried to run that into the short boundary. Three and Martinez, if indeed he does see the ball back here. Trejo strikes the ball. And this is a really good punt. And a Texas bounce inside the 20 yard line. At two. Martinez on first down. Felt the rush, got it away. Garcia is spiked down on the field. Vaughn in the slot at the bottom. This throw for Sinnott. And he gets through Taft for. Martinez deciding on two small. He finds his way out of bounds. Second and eight. Martinez on target for Warner. To the 40. Anguish, he said it's been very difficult on his family. All the close losses. Not another ball tipped at the line. Two weeks ago, it got taken from them late. Martinez felt the pressure from the weak side. He lost the football. It's down on the ground at the sideline and out of bounds. He wanted it so bad, and Sorrell wanted it so bad, and they want it so bad. They bring five. They get to Martinez. You can see the swat away, and the big man thinks he's got it. Sweat looks at it like a... <laughs> Like a big bear on honey right here. Like it's mine. It's mine. And then Sorrell, actually, the two of them knock it out of bounds. State. Martinez lets it rip. It's Garcia. Trying to turn up field. And Jamison just holds on for dear life here. Martinez, fourth down and six. Martinez waving. Martinez scrambling. Throwing across his body. And he's got the first down. <laughs> Two timeouts still left. 30 seconds to go. Adrian Martinez. What do you have left? Not the football. It's kicked away. And Texas has it. The Texas Longhorns and Jalen Ford have the football and a bow here in Manhattan. To win a game on the road. <laughs> One kneel down from Quinn Ewers. Kansas State will not use the timeouts. And that is a tackle, Banks, and, and Udike Uzama with a hug.